Today we're gonna be drying the Lorax. So let's get started. We're gonna start off. And we're gonna start off with a simple curve line, kind of like the letter U on the bottom right here. So just draw the letter U. Once you're done with that, you're gonna stretch the letter out a little bit longer. Let's stretch it out. And we're gonna connect the top with a smaller curve line. I'm gonna draw the Lorax with some trees behind them. All right, and I like to draw a line in the middle lightly, just so it helps me with my symmetry. Now I'm gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna draw two circles. One right there and one on the other side. And I'm gonna draw his pupil towards the bottom. He's gonna be looking down. And we can draw some curved lines, one underneath each eye, and then around the top. And he has big bushy eyebrows, so let's draw another curved line on each side, on top. And we can do a pair line. Let's follow along the left line, and you could draw some wavy lines at the end. So you're gonna draw a parallel line that goes right along the bottom one, and then you're gonna draw some wavy lines. All right, his nose is just gonna be a zigzag. And then you could draw two little nostrils. And you can connect those with little curve lines. There's his little nose. All right, let's draw his big mustache. So I'm just gonna darken that line that's going down the middle. And I'm gonna draw a curved line going out. And one on the other side. I just try to make it symmetrical, like same side. What I do to one side, do it to the other side. And underneath, I'm gonna do wavy lines. So I'm just gonna curve or zigzag. And I'll do one back. One. Two, three, you can do as many as you like. Back. All right, we'll draw his arms. He's gonna zigzag out and back in. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Zigzag, kind of make them the same size. Then I'm gonna connect those or do a parallel line, line that goes next to that one. And I'm just gonna draw a little curve line so you can see part of his hand. Same thing on the other side. Straight and curve. He has like his hips on his shoulders. All right, let's draw his feet or legs. We're gonna draw a curved line. There's small little cute legs. And another curved line. And then a zigzag for the foot. Zigzag, and you can curve back up. All right, you can add some lines on his mustache if you want. Some lines around his body. Give him some texture. All right, let's draw the background. So you could draw a horizontal line. And I'm gonna draw some trees around him. So here's two circles and a wavy line and another wavy line. Wavy line and another curvy wavy line. All right, those trees that they have in the store are zigzag, so you could just go around, zigzag, And you're gonna stop where you started. Up, down, zig and out, in and out, in and out. All right, when you're ready, you're gonna um, 
draw some lines inside the trees. They are like tiger stripes. Now you're kind of protecting the trees. All right, so we're gonna trace the lines that we like and then don't trace the lines that you don't like. I might make his arms a little bit stronger. Alright, so that's the Lorax. I hope you had fun drawing the Lorax with me. You want to sign your artwork if you did not. I forgot to put my name on here. I think it still works over the uh, crayon. Alright, hope you have a good day.